From the beginning, my favorites have always been stealth games. Thief, Metal Gear, Hitman, Dishonored. But Sea of Thieves, as much as I may want it to be, just isn't a stealth game. Unless we make it one. But to do that, you need to become a sneaky bastard. Stick to the end and I'll go over an aspect of hiding in Sea of Thieves that you absolutely need to keep in mind. Part one, the basics. Okay, first off, in order to be a true Tuck Lord, you need to use the hide emotes. They not only make your pirate harder to see, while in use, they get rid of your pirate's name above you. So go to the Emporium, go to Pirate, then scroll around until you find the Hide and Seek bundle and the Hide and Peek bundle. The standard hide emote is free. You can get away with just using that one, but I recommend having four different hide emotes minimum. Hide for most uses. Wall hide for those times being vertical works better. Deck hide for the times being horizontal works better. And then barrel hide for when you need to hide in plain sight. I need a very, very large drink. You can get barrel hide from Lorena outside any tavern. With these four emotes, you'll be able to hide in almost any situation. And I strongly suggest having all your hide emotes being on the first page of your emotes wheel so you can access them quickly. Next, if you're going on a sneak mission, you want to be wearing darker clothes. They don't have to be all black. In fact, I've found a little bit of texture actually tricks the eye. But you want something that doesn't glow and won't stick out if you're tucked in a dark corner. Another thing to know is that if you're running, wearing any boots makes a louder footstep sound than going barefoot. Here's what it sounds like running with boots. And here's barefoot. Whenever you're tucking, you're probably going to be away from your own ship. See, I don't so you won't need them. wood, cannonballs, or chain shot. Keep room in your pockets to steal those from other crews. Bring whatever's your five best pieces of food and five blunder bombs in case you need to engage in combat. If you end up needing to fire cannons or set a ship on fire, you can probably find ammo in the barrels of that ship. As far as your weapons, you absolutely want a sword. You might need to move quickly from place to place and you'll want the ability to sword lunge in order to do so. For your gun, go blunderbuss. The one-shot kill is the closest thing the game has to a backstab mechanic. And if you end up firing a gun, you're probably gonna be in close proximity anyway. After you set sail from your starting outpost, if you have the time, try and find a rowboat. Rowing to an opponent is far sneakier than sailing and far safer than swimming because you won't get sharked or sirened. And finally, the one thing you absolutely need to keep in mind whenever you're planning a stealth mission in Sea of Thieves. An emissary flag Stick on your ship banners. gives a musical so sting whenever someone looks at it through a spyglass. Even if you think it's well hidden. Flying a reaper's flag lets everyone know where you are, including the very people you're trying to hide from. Now, if you have crew members who can be on your ship while you're doing a recon mission, this isn't that important. But the best idea for solo stealth is to use a non-emissary and even non-captained ship. Hopefully this helps. If there are any Sea of Thieves tucking basics I didn't mention, let us know in the comments. Catch my Sea of Thieves stream at twitch.tv slash calico snack, and I'll see you out there. Or maybe I won't.